Why I'm looking down from where I'm at? The bottom's always overcrowded. Fuck yeah, dude. Ah, right, Ryuki. Spill the beans, you drunken motherfucker. Sure do. <laughs> He's fucking just destroyed. Can I get a glass? Double shochu curry shot. Ew. Ew. Curry shot. Gross. Reverse sink? You tried to get into my head in the sink earlier, right? I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play dumb. Actually, Mizuki, it is possible that he does not remember. The recipient of a sink does not literally experience what happens in their somnium. Hmm. So he would not remember that. Then who was trying to reverse sink? Perhaps Ryuki's subconscious. Or the collective unconscious. Collective unconscious? What? Hey, Ryuki, do you know the culprit? If I did, I would have caught them already. The man in the iron mask, Insomnium. I know that he is the culprit in the HB case, Terror. But Dahlia Boat, is that another pseudonym? I heard the boat part six years ago at the cathedral. But Dahlia, how did you know that part of the name? Well, that's because... Hmm. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> hey, Ryuki. What's wrong? <laughs> what the hell is going on? <laughs> you guys fucking lost it. Ryuki's brain. I'm detecting anomalies in the firing of multiple neurons. Fail. It is not fatal, but he will be unable to speak for a while. What caused it? The hell? Unknown. However, it is advisable to not continue pressing Ryuki further. Weird. Then I guess I'll have to investigate the old-fashioned way. <sighs> And that's when he goes think the foot ass mildly away that's not cryptic fuck ship upside down what the hell's happening Mizuki I heard you sinked into Ryuki but you didn't get anything out of it. <laughs> he was carried to the medical office last night. After a day's rest, he gathered himself and headed home. I'm guessing he's drinking again. Should we use GPS? No, it's fine. I won't get anything useful from him right now. Ryuki is currently on leave. After the explosion six years ago... He just needs more time. Huh. I'd like to have him help with the investigation, but I don't want to put that pressure on him right now. Oh, so you do understand that you did it without my permission. <laughs> you said you couldn't <laughs> handle it. And I also said not to do anything dangerous. Uh, but I did find a lead. Yeah. Dahlia Boat, huh? But what does that get us, exactly? I searched every database I have access to. I did not find anything that connects that name with terror. There's got to be some kind of hidden meaning. Ryuki would know. You can't assume that, Mizuki. I checked the sync log this morning, and something is definitely off. We know Ryuki isn't mentally stable right now. A person's memory can be wrong at times, especially after trauma or mental disturbance. So we can't assume anything we got from Ryuki is the truth? 
boss is correct. There is no guarantee hmm. that what is experienced in Somnium is exactly what that person saw. Yeah, but it isn't completely random either. The person being synced had to have experienced something that made their Somnium that way. True, but... Listen, it's just best that you don't put too much stock into what Ryuki says right now. Hmm, I don't know about that. Boss, you got that. I'm over here. <laughs> That's funny. Wait, how did you know? Pewter told me. <sighs> Running his mouth. <laughs> I'm gonna cut his pay. You're getting old. You should stop cruising bars. <laughs> Classic Mizuki talking mad shit. Ugh, could you not sound like my daughter? See? <laughs> daughter? Ah. Uh. Yeah. Well, yeah. I had no idea you had an illegitimate daughter. <laughs> Wait, what? She's not illegitimate. It's not like a secret or anything. It's just no one ever asked. Okay, uh. that's enough digging into my private life for the day. <laughs> you sure about that? You heard about the DNA results, right? Yeah, Peter told me last night. The DNA extracted from Jin's right half six years ago. The base sequence was an exact match with the left half that was found. A 100% match. They definitely belong to the same person. Which is wild. But how is that possible? Yeah, 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 yeah. Body? The rubbery part of you. That's not the eyeball. Oh, this? I believe it is made from seaweed extract of some kind. In a predicament, you can eat it. Ew. I don't want to do that. It's been a I want to eat something that's been inside my eyeball? Inside my eye socket? Ew. It gets really tight in your eye socket, you know. I wanted to stretch out a bit so I don't get too used to that economy class. <laughs> Small head ass bitch. Excuse me, my left eye is first class, unlike Date. <laughs> Why do you ask? Isn't it obvious what I'm looking at? I'm Mizuki Date, formerly Okiura. I'm a senior at Sekiba High. I'm 18. <laughs> all right, all right. I run right, a right. company and I'm a sinker at Abyss. Recently, I've been worried that my lifestyle is making my skin break out and I'm putting on weight. <laughs> oh my fucking god. And since I run into so many low life criminals, it's really been affecting me. You seem tired. Don't push yourself too hard. That's enough, Iba. You can close it. <laughs> Masked woman? The hell? The shady chick who tried to shoot me with a gun. Oh, her. We're looking into her based on what Iba recorded. But we haven't found anything yet. No witness statements either. Maybe she's with terror. Why would you think that? Well, she looked like a bad guy. As a police officer, you should refrain from judging by appearances. Yeah, but also, why did she try and shoot you? Hey, Mizuki. Aren't you forgetting something? Huh? Was it? That's exactly what I'm talking about. I'm your superior. You should be more respectful when talking to me. Oh, yeah, my bad. Sir, yes, sir. Aye, aye, sir. I'll be careful, boss lady. <laughs> <laughs> Teenagers. <laughs> so, what are you going to do now, Mizuki? I think I'm gonna head to the stadium. There might be some leads that only I can find. Sounds good. But, as I said before, don't push yourself too hard. Yeah, yeah. Respectful? Roger that, Sergeant! Sheesh. Oh my fucking god. It's like... <laughs> 
it's got that little bit of cringe that makes it just oh so much but she had a fucking moped I just, what <laughs> I got all this shit going on in my life as Mizuki right and I'm driving around on a moped I'm a target what the hell and the the fucking scene's still here I still haven't done anything about it away. of course the winter cold may help, but the body would still naturally decompose if left unattended. They also needed to perform an autopsy. <sighs> I just wish I could have examined it a little more. Why not use my function? What function? This is not your first crime scene. You have done this many times hmm. before. Oh, that! Indeed. Iba, please do your thing. At once. <laughs> The fuck is you doing? Oh yeah, this shit. I am replaying the scene from when the body was found. I have scanned from edge to edge for this recreation. I really can't get used to this. It's like going back in time. But I thought I remembered officers being around. Oh, right. This would be our first time seeing the scene this way. When creating a VR space for an investigation, irrelevant information is not replicated. Got it. Now, hmm. let us begin. The point I am most curious about is how the body was carried over there. As I previously stated, no footprints were found at the scene. Let us focus our investigation on that fact first. Virtual reality activation. There's nothing like hanging it up top. That was my first thing is like maybe they dropped it from above. Huh. Every time I see this, it hits me that this is really Jin Furue. It's crazy that the other half of his body was found six years later. The cause of death was the body becoming severed in two. He was cut at a molecular level, identical to the right half that was found six years ago. The culprit is most likely terror. And no other damage to the body besides being cut in half, right? None. Nothing like falling from a great height? Impossible. If that had happened, there would be signs of impact damage to the body. Fair enough. My little sparkles in the ground. I don't see sparkling anywhere else. There's something there. A little sparkle. Clicked off screen. God damn it. I got an idea. Could someone else have gotten plastic surgery to look like him? I suggest using the x ray mode to find out. If there was any surgery, you would see chiseled bone or silicone. There would be internal evidence left behind. natural object right here right fucking thing hmm? ah there's something in the grass it appears to be a screw the grass was so long you couldn't see it with the naked eye yeah what's this Hey, look at the halfway line. It's hard to tell because of the white chalk, but... I see slight grooves in the ground with the x-ray mode. 
Mm -hmm. Is this a tire tread? A bike, maybe. If that were the case, we would see evidence of two overlapping tire treads. But there Unicycle. Is only the one. So something with one wheel. Wheelbarrow. This Barrel. tire track. It looks familiar. So I'm his bone structure is standard. Nothing has been done to his face. Sick. Nor his body. So you're saying there is no evidence of plastic surgery. It's gin for sure. Hmm. Thermo. Ah. The temperature is a little lower here. It's like something spilled. This is related to specific heat capacity. What's that? Basically, it is how easily something heats up or cools down. Something that heats up and cools down easily has a low specific heat capacity. So I have a low specific heat capacity. You have the opposite. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, the melted snow has caused water to begin to pool. Did you end the stream? I was waiting for the noty. Definitely didn't. I don't know why However, that happened. Whatever liquid spilled here has a lower specific heat capacity than water, so you perceive it as being colder. Any idea on what it could be? Analysis complete. It is an oil used for lubricating machines. Mm. Machine oil, huh? Let's go. Much ah. Some ah on the ground. That should complete the investigation. Using the evidence we found, we can replay Terror's actions. How did Terror move the body to where it was found? That's what we need to figure out. Let us begin. How is the body carried without leaving footprints? We should consider how exactly it was carried. How the corpse ended up where it did. Yes. Over a soccer field. If it was dropped from above or thrown from somewhere, that wouldn't be the case. Correct. Now consider the lack of footprints. There were no footprints. But we did find other prints, right? What specifically? Fucking tire trail. Move all the way, dipshit. Right here, on the halfway line. You see the tire track? Something with one wheel was used to carry the body. Something with just one wheel made this track. What was it? Being the robot option here. It's fucking... God damn it. The Shoma robot thing. <laughs> Spinny ring thing. <laughs> I think it was a robot. The screw we found in yeah. the grass. And oil. the machine oil. You yeah. have to think they're connected. Perhaps a one-wheeled robot, but we cannot conclude that it was a robot based like on Shoma's. this evidence alone. I guess not. But those tire marks looked familiar. Shoma. Let us imagine it was a mono wheel robot and it carried the body along the halfway line. Yeah. Let us begin recording. Huh? Okay, Miss Star in the Making. This is the dumbest part of the I game. Am the director slash cameraman, <laughs> Aiba Kurosawa. Kurosawa? 
You don't know Kurosawa? All right, that guy. I am going to start rolling soon, so please show me your best acting. Uh, hold on. I don't even know what this is. No talking back to your director. You're an actress. <laughs> I'm a police officer. That is basically the same thing. For both jobs, you need to show some skin. We'll leave that one alone. <laughs> Neither job requires showing skin. Mm, I don't know about that one. <laughs> Enough worrying about the little details. You simply need to play the part of terror. Why? Let us begin. Ready? Action! That was loud. My name is Terror. Twas I who cut Jin in half. Now I shall carry this corpse to the center of the pitch. Oh, this is some superb acting. So, how are you going to accomplish that? Using this! Ah, Shoma's robot. Like I said. I'll use this robot remotely and... Uh, this is hard. <laughs> Losing a screw. I'm dripping some oil. Things Drop the body. There, but I got it back. <sighs> I did it. Yeah. Good. Wonderful. Great acting. So fucking stupid. I especially liked the performance of your eyes. You have the eyes of someone who has actually killed a man before. Well, it's not too far off. Can you not say that, please? Anyway, this robot. <laughs> Shoma, 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 Shoma. Shoma's the only one in the story that has a one wheeled, one wheeled, one wheeled Ida, robot. You were thinking the same thing, huh? My brain kept wanting to say one wheel woba. The one wheel woba. Yes, I saw it before as well. Shoma's one wheeled robot. Do you recall the grooves on that tire? But it just can't be. Shoma can't be terror. Despite the circumstances, the possibility is not zero. No way. The best thing to do hmm. is confirm with him directly. Where is Shoma? Unknown. Really? I cannot locate his GPS signal. Weird. His smartphone is either off or somewhere with no reception. So sending a Nile message is pointless too. Guess we have no choice but to look for him. Where could Shoma be? Naturally, we should head to the Endo residence. There is also a high likelihood of him being at Brahmin or Matsushita Diner. I think I've seen yep. him testing his robot at Yoyagi Park, too. While not directly related to Shoma, there are records of Jin Furue being hospitalized at Central Hospital. Maybe we can ask about Jin, too. We should also head to Sekiba High. That's where the second body in the HB case was found. Oh, my God. Where should we go first? Six spots. Jesus, look at this. So much stuff to do. Go to the park. Gonna go to the park on our moped. The cringe. Looks like Shoma isn't here. Right. Huh? Isn't that... This asshole. Kizuna and Lian. They might know where Shoma is. Let's go. Why is she I in a fucking you. wheelchair? Big sis. Oh. Hey, Mizuki. She looks fucking worried. He's always drinking. Huh? What is it, Pixis? Well, uh... Oh, the wheelchair? You do not have to worry. I am used to it by now. God damn it! As you know, 
The injury I received to my spine six years ago caused my legs to stop working. I have been in a wheelchair hmm. ever since. I will not be able to dance anymore, like I used to. Dancing was the one, but it would be inappropriate of hmm. me to complain. Accidental double click? I was caught in an explosion, and yet I survived. It is a miracle that I am still alive. To not appreciate that fact would be a sin. Kizzy. <laughs> oh, nothing in particular. I am just not feeling well today. And Leanne was nice enough to invite me outside to get some fresh air. I thought Kizzy was feeling a little down. So I called her, and sure enough, I told her, let's go to your favorite place. You really understand her well, don't you? Are you spying on her with a wiretap or something? <laughs> no, don't be ridiculous. It's true that maybe I've stolen some things in the past, but I've never stolen someone's privacy. <laughs> all right, dude. All right, no, 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 no. <laughs> of course, my feelings haven't changed a bit. If anything, they've gotten stronger. When I'm with Kizzy, my heart soars. Oh, fucking vomit. It soars so high, I feel like I can burst through the stratosphere and beyond the galaxy. <laughs> it's my dream to fly. I remember telling you. That's a moron. So it's like my dream comes true whenever I see Kizzy. <laughs> wow. To be honest, you don't seem like the kind of guy who's into commitment. I am. And as more proof, I'm working as a locksmith. A thief. Working as a locksmith. Good. Good job. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Kizzy said she doesn't like an unemployed man, after all. Yeah. I want to make the enough hell? money to be able to support her. Fair. Hmm? Oh, I... I was just remembering about Big Sis. Not referring to you, of course, but... Oh, the one you lived with from 9 to 15, right? Yes. I used to come here with her often. I think it was summer, when I was 10 years old. I accidentally got my clothes dirty. It was my father's fate. I was scared that I was going to get scolded harshly by my father. I tried so hard to come up with a lie. Who could I blame? And as I was thinking, she pushed me into the fountain. She what? I was shocked, but then... She jumped in after me. Mm. Let's do some laundry, she said. What the hell? Oh, like washing your clothes by playing in the water. Yes, but she had another reason. As we splashed water on each other, I remember her saying, when you're feeling down, you should clean your heart. It was not only my clothes that needed cleaning, but also my heart. What the fuck does that mean? I was trying to find an excuse, or come up with a lie that would have been caught right away. But she, well, instead of coming up with a lie, she turned it into the truth. She even went beyond that and made it into something fun. It is not good to worry about things. To come up with lies. That was what she was trying to say, I am sure. Hmm. We went home together, soaking wet and laughing. Father laughed with us. I was just lost in that memory. Yeah. All right. Sorry. I don't want to talk about it. What about Six you? Six years ago. Big sis. Yep. I lost my left eye in the explosion. But I don't even worry about it anymore. I got a good partner. Indeed. Oh, is that a false yeah. eye? Yeah, something like that. If anything, things have been even more lively for me. You're damn right. <laughs> oh, quiet. Aww. <laughs> A little sad face. <laughs> lively, I see. <laughs> hmm. You can't tell? I'm asking because I can't tell. A young girl and a guy. 
Walking in a park together. Oh God. Multi-level marketing scheme. It's a date. <laughs> oh, this was a date. Oh. Uh, <laughs> well, I guess it's not that formal. We just came here for a change of pace for Kizzy. This is our favorite spot, you know. <laughs> We've been on a ton of dates here. Ew. It's practically our second home. Just a nice, relaxing spot for both of us. Yeah. Sure. This fucking weirdo. No, I haven't seen him. What happened? It's nothing. You don't need to worry about it. But you. I'm sorry. I don't know. Damn. Hmm. I need to head home soon. Huh? Already? We just got here. I remembered that I have to do something. Kizzy, what's wrong? W why do you ask? It seems like you're worked up about something. I believe you are mistaken. Oh. Wait. Is what? Do you not like being with me? Do you not like being seen with me? Well, is that not how you feel about me? Wh what do you mean? I am sure you know what I mean. No, I don't. What are you saying? Mizuki, you were right. Kizuna is acting strange. Hmm. Why not wink sync with her? Yeah. Let's see what the fuck's going on in your brain. I know. Lian, you are only with me because... You feel guilty. Your supposed feelings for me are just a farce. In truth, you feel nothing but guilt inside. Guilt for what happened six years ago. Needless to say, you did nothing wrong, Liam. But that is not how you see it. You believe it is your fault for how I ended up. That is why you stayed by my side. I am just a burden. Please, just leave me. I do not want to be the reason you ruined your life. Kizzy, she is assuming Lian's feelings mm. come from a place of pity. What is it? Can I wink sink into Lian too? Consecutively? The battery usage is quite high. I could use a recharge. I have low power. Mm. Come on, you can spare it. Don't treat me like your allowance. <laughs> can you please? I want to know Lian's true feelings. Hmm. I suppose. I will make an exception and use the emergency backup battery. Hmm. Weird. I'm sorry. Kizzy. I couldn't save you. I couldn't protect you. And because of that, you're... But that doesn't change how I feel about you. I love you. From the bottom of my heart. I don't care about appearances. I don't care what happens. You. And I, forever, forever, eternally. Okay. They really do care about each other. We need to tell them about how the other really feels. How? Hey, I just read both your minds, and guess what? <laughs> Is that what you want to say? Not to mention, it is tactless to wedge yourself into other people's romances. This needs to be solved between them. Iva, how old are you now? I am turning 12 this year. So that's like 65 in human years. I'm not a dog. <laughs> anyway, I need to be going. Liam, thank you for today. But please, you do not need to care about me anymore. But, Kizzy... There she goes. Unfortunate, but we are not relationship therapists. We have another job to do. <laughs> Find Shoma. Well, fuck. All right. Let's go to his house and see if he's fucking here. That's not what I thought I was going to end up doing at the fucking park, but okay. Looks like Shoma isn't here. Hey, Mizuki. What are you doing in the Kotatsu? 
Kotatsus are perfect on a cold day. They make you really sleepy. <laughs> you do realize this is breaking and entering. It's fine. When I was here before, Shoma said I could just come in any time. I believe that kind of sentimentality has worn off in the modern age. Yeah. Anyway, let us search. Yeah, let's look for oranges. No, the one-wheeled robot. Why oranges? Why so random? We need to check if it was Shoma's robot that carried the corpse. No one-wheeled robot in here. It was in here before. Hmm. Hmm. It's Adder Rooster! What the fuck? He's the manager at the fried chicken shop that Adder works at. That is a peculiar situation. The hell? What? Gotta click it all. Click everything. I finally found it. That must be the one-wheeled robot we were looking for. It has two legs. <laughs> Could it be hidden in here? It wouldn't fit. Hey. This thing talks. The hell? Strange name, too. Last thing, I guess, the buzzer. All right, question time. A lion is tied up on a 10-foot chain. What is the area of grass the lion would eat? Let me think. Approximately 314 square feet. Yep. The correct answer is zero square feet. Lions don't eat grass, but Leon eats grass sometimes. What kind of little kid logic is that? <laughs> hey, perv, don't look! <laughs> who are you talking to? You're the one who peeped. Call <laughs> herself a fucking perv. We couldn't find it. the robot anywhere. And no other leads. Yeah, no oranges either. Who cares about the oranges? In any oh case, we have no time to waste. Let's head elsewhere. But it's so cold outside. You're the one who picked that outfit. <sighs> Let's get going. Any day now. Yeah, let's hear the fuck. What? What this? Eyeballies. Oh my god, it's a fucking Tamagotchi. Nope. Don't care about that. At all. Get the hell out of here. But Brahmin. Then ask me why I move without him. Why I'm looking down from where I'm at. The bottom's always overcrowded. 